his hands. So it's just inside the van anyway. The coppers in the chopper can see another group of people approaching. They think these might be coming back to the stadium. And there's now a team of them walking back onto the thin strip car park. Their numbers are swelling. It's, uh, it's starting to go crazy here. The situation is getting too dangerous. It's time to bring in the cavalry. We've got quite a lot of missiles now uh, down by McDonald's. We've been uh, videoing it away. You don't stand still when there's a horse coming towards you. You know, even the most drunk man realises it's time to turn around and go the other way rather sharpish. We'd be advising NATO elements from here, I think. Uh, there's a lot of missiles coming at officers. Behind police lines, a safe area is opening up. A sanctuary for those who don't want to be involved in the violence, even if some wish they were. Well, the territory of I think it's fantastic. Because it's the atmosphere, it's the buzz. If I if I got my little one with me, then I'd be real. It's only for his safety, I'm sat here. I don't promote violence, but you've got to stick together. The Millwall fans have stuck together, but not through choice. They've been trapped in the stadium for 45 minutes and are now getting restless. Uh, they're still sat in the stands. Uh, we're having real problems trying to... Um trying to clear a sterile area. The further away from the stadium the fans are pushed, the more things they're finding to throw at police. The missiles were coming, there was rubble being thrown from roadsides. They went into the VW garage where a number of wheel trims were taken off cars on the forecourt and these were thrown like frisbees towards police lines. Get some of these stragglers outside VW Gary. Despite the police being outnumbered, they're making some progress. Yeah, and thanks to uh, efforts of Mountain, they've managed to get them right up now to the uh, Little Town Lane footbridge over the M621 where there's a large crowd gathering. The police plan is to get them on the other side of the motorway. The only crossing point is a footbridge. They're pushing them away from Ellen Road, but they're just going to uh, fly over across 621. Uh, to another pub. Just uh, watch your back, watch your back. Watch out! Making any arrests now is too dangerous. It's crucial that Paul gets good pictures of the offenders so they can be identified and arrested later. No. Did you get a decent picture of his face when he threw it? From zoom... what distance? You think? Could you zoom in on him? Like he has thrown out now, but can you zoom in on him and get him now? There's a large group on the Little Town Lane footbridge, though. The battle is reaching a critical point. If the police can get them over the bridge, the motorway will provide a barrier between them and the Millwall fans. Are you able to assist with that one, over? But this brings new dangers. I put myself at an amazing pedal. If you fall off that, you fall onto a motorway, you will definitely die. Your location, please, please cross the area. It's also a danger for the traffic underneath it. I mean, throwing stuff at police, you know, you can hurt us, but throw something off a motorway bridge at a moving car, you can kill people. Paul's video van can keep a cool eye on proceedings while the cops take the heat. He's watching out for two fast food vendors who don't look like they'll be getting any business today. But one hooligan looks desperate for a burger and leaps onto the van. What are you doing on the back of that car? On that trailer, have you seen him knocking up? Oh my god! There was one point at which I had to do a double take, and uh, which is where my digital recording equipment came into play, so I could rewind and actually look and confirm that I had seen what I thought I'd seen. The vehicle quickly picked up so much speed that he was unable to actually get off, and. Uh, the last I saw of me was flying round the corner onto the bridge at about 30 miles an hour. There are more headaches for the police. The Millwall fans have been kept at the ground for over an hour and now they can't even get transport for them. The bus company aren't happy about their buses being smashed up before the game. 
The bus company didn't react right well. Uh, I think it was quoted about £10,000 for the damage caused, plus the fact that the buses are off the road. Yeah, no worries. I think, obviously, they're going to walk them back because the buses have refused to, um, to pick them up. Uh, Marching 600 tired, angry Millwall fans on a two-mile journey will be a nightmare and impossible to do until the police have captured the bridge. They're running out of things to throw while they're up there. They can look in the pocket for all they can find, but they've only got so much ammunition. There's no great amounts of mounds of bricks or anything up there. <laughs> the idea is then to get ourselves into a position where in one push we can go clean over the motor and then take the bridge. Another dilemma for the police. Their helicopter is out of fuel and must return to base. We have got uh, some pictures, some evidence uh, of the culprits throwing the missiles. Uh, obviously, uh, it may be that you have to come and collect it all. They'll have to make this crucial charge without aerial cover. As the police go forward, they don't want to get caught, they don't want to get hit by a baton, they don't want to rest in, so they just ran. Went into that residential area, which basically it's just rows and rows of uh, terrace houses. Like a rabbit warren, once they're in there, they can go everywhere. Once they're away from the bridge, that is ours. Uh, we will guard the bridge and we will not let them get back across. They get back across, they're two or three minutes away from the ground again. Get them across the bridge, and then you're talking a half a mile detour around to get back to the ground. <laughs> The police have managed to persuade the bus company to help out. If you want to get to the car park on the official coaches, over there! They will reluctantly ferry the Millwall fans back to the station in Leeds city centre. They're still on camera. The police spotters are watching their every move. The bus is now all in escort. Um, I think it's seven buses in total, uh, taking all the Millwall fans back to the uh, train station. They'll be put on one of the uh, trains and then monitored back by British Transport Police. Uh, hopefully then uh, we'll be able to um, leave for the day. But the video van won't be going home yet. Bit old for that game, aren't you, mate? Bit old for that game. Thugs have rearmed and are now throwing bricks. I think the missile throwing acts worse probably on the road by the wagging of horses. There is a lot of, sort of disused buildings, so there's ammunition readily available. With the fans causing trouble on the other side of the motorway, there is still concern about danger to innocent people. Obviously our concerns are 621 running at the side where people are doing up to 60 or 70 miles an hour. All it takes is for some idiot to throw something on the motorway and cause a serious accident. The pelting is so ferocious, only police with armour can get near. But the CCTV van's cameras are powerful enough to capture the hooligans beyond the range of the missiles. Got you. Watch him. Keep your eye on him and try and... Uh... And another one. When you think we're not watching, and this lad... Because of that vantage point, we could get a general overview of everything that was happening. Quite a few individuals spotted the van there, and a number of them put down the uh, objects they were about to throw upon seeing the van there. There were others that obviously weren't bothered about the van and carried on throwing things at the police anyway. They know they're being watched. Some try to hide their faces with hoods. Others attack the van. They're banging at the side of the van. They're actually throwing missiles at us now. Oh, there we go. In my time, I've been bricked about four or five times. Uh, some of my colleagues have actually had uh, various objects thrown at them, like the most strange one being a chest of drawers. Yeah, but we you zooming on him, Paul? Are we looking up there? That's the one with, the, with his bottle in his hand. That... You've been filmed, mate. You've been filmed. Put it down. I've got about 10 to 12 people uh, throwing bottles and bricks at the police. 